Welcome back, Preppers. Welcome to the Prepping Team channel. I'm UZL. Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm Ezra. All right, as you know, hunting season is coming, it's approaching. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a few things to help you set up your property. We have a different properties we're gonna be hunting uh, this year, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna set up this property. So in this video, briefly, we're gonna go over natural paths, we're gonna go over shooting lanes, where you should set up your blinds, where you should set up your, whether you have tree stands or uh, what type of foods and where you should set it up at. All right, stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, so when you're setting up a, a private parcel of land, whether it's uh, five, 10, 15, 20 acres, whatever you have, they're gonna need three different things. They're gonna need a water source. They're gonna need some type of food source, whether you have, um, uh, planted something or you have actual live oaks or oak trees or walnut trees on your property and they're also going to need a quiet area on the property that they go to to bed or to sleep um, so when you're looking for these things when you're in, um, looking in your parcel of land you want to look out for natural paths which a natural path is going to be a small slim uh, path is, is never going to be straight it's always going to be wavy or curving and it's going to be no more than a foot wide and the reason for it is because not only deer use it but all other animals use it and when animals move they their feet follow the same pattern they don't move like humans where our feet are wider apart and we're making a larger path so you're looking out for natural paths either to or from some type of food source or some type of water source like we have behind us right um, so those are the things that you're looking out for. You're looking for the food, you're looking for water, you're looking not necessarily where they're bedding at first, that'll come eventually, but you're looking for that natural path, all right? So what we'll do now is we're gonna show you some of the food sources that we're gonna uh, plant here, or not plant, but we're gonna um, set up, and then also right behind us on this property we're gonna hunt this year has a stream that's coming straight through the property. So this is perfect. So now off this stream, what I'll be looking for are natural paths. And that's where the, either the deer are crossing or they're going to the water. So now I'm gonna put up, we'll put up uh, some type of food in that area, all right? All right, so now we have the area where we're gonna be baiting. Um, now this is gonna be our shooting lane. Um, we chose it because it's on a natural path heading to the water. So. This is the area that we chose. We're gonna be baiting it, um, like I said. However, we're shooting uh, arrows in this property. So our path, anything, any branches or anything can throw off the arrow and not impact uh, what we want, which is getting a deer, harvesting a deer. So what we're gonna do is uh, knock this off. There's a tree right next to the camera with some limbs on it. Um, where we're gonna stage our blind is like 10 yards behind the camera. So we're just gonna do a little cleanup before we actually bait our area. All right. Now we're all set. We'll let you know what this tree limb is about later. So for now, we're all set.
All right, guys, so behind me, what I have is another form of um, storing or putting food out for deer. And this is called a, actually, deer feeder. This is one that we made fairly inexpensive, maybe 10, 15 bucks out of PVC pipe. And what we did was we kind of sprayed it in the color scheme of the area that we're gonna be in, All right? So essentially what you do is you'll take your food, you'll pour it up in there, it'll go down into there and the deer will be able to eat from it. Now the remainder of your food, you of course pour down in your area to attract the deer. Um, so the area that we're in, we're actually still on the same property. We're just on a different section of the property on the other end of the stream, right? So we still have our three, our, our key points, right? We have that natural path that's coming straight through here. We have our food and then we have our water source. So those are the three key things that you want for success. Of course, there's many other factors, uh, which we'll go over here shortly, right? But the main, the main few things you want are those three things, right? So I set up the blind and what I did was I put it right about two to three feet above the ground because remember we're targeting deer not hogs or uh, turkeys or different areas that's out of sea uh, different um, animals that are out of season right so you want to put it high enough so that the deer can eat it and not the hogs or uh, other birds can eat it right so um, i'll demonstrate how this one works portion of it, you put it down in the area. And then the remainder. It doesn't take much to fill it all the way up. You know what? Uh, so once you fill it all the way up, like I mentioned, the remainder you just throw off in the area. And then throw your cap on it so that when no water settles in there and the food stays dry. It's so another way to set up a food plot on the same or different portion or parcel of that land, all right? So stay tuned for the final key point that you need or else all that we've shown you is for nothing. <laughs> all right, guys, so we went over three key components, whether, whether it be food, your water plots or natural streams, uh, and then their bedding areas, right? Those are the three things you're looking for. On top of that third one with bedding, you, you're really looking for on those two keys, that which is the water and food, you're looking for those natural paths. And those are those paths, like I mentioned, right? So we also looked, we talked about what else? Um, shooting lanes, mm -hmm. right? How to clear your area out, how to um, make sure that when you do put your food, when you look back, at your actual, whether you have a deer blind on the ground or a stand in the tree, make sure there's nothing obstructing that, um, that path, lane. right? The shooting yeah. lane, right? So, but all this being said, everything that we've taught you or shown you is beginning steps, but all that will be for nothing unless we have scent control, control of our scent, right? Scent control. Scent control meaning your body odor. Um, yeah. not saying you stink, but your body has a natural odor that animals are able to detect, right? right. Uh, through smell, uh, through the wind. Your body, uh, wherever the wind is traveling, is gonna carry your natural human scent. And they can detect that and they know to stay away. So you can have your property all set up, nice, you know, have all the gadgets, the cameras, all of that. You've seen deer, you're excited. You just go out there and you don't do the proper steps to control your uh, scent, they're not, they're not coming out there. 
Right, right. So we can't go out there wearing Gucci colognes and, you know, it, that's not going to happen. Right? <laughs> Don't, they put the old spice to the side. Uh, actually, at your stores, wherever you uh, purchase most of your gear, they'll have unscented um, deodorants. Right, uh, body wash. Have body wash, hair, beard, all that stuff so you can also, wash yourself. Also, for your, whatever clothing you use right, to go right. hunting, they also make laundry detergent to take out your scent and other whatever fabric scent or cologne that you right. used before. The clothing that you're gonna use to hunt, just don't put none of that stuff on it to start with. And also, we're, later on videos, we're gonna talk about, you know, if you have to drive to that hunt location, how to transport right. those clothing. As, as well as your human scent, you don't want food scent, you don't want uh, exhaust fume scent, you don't want those scent on your clothing as well. All of those scent can deter a deer from coming to your food plot area. All right. Right, right. Yeah, we've had times where we have like a deer cam or a trail camera out there and we're constantly seeing deer, constantly seeing deer. And if you go out there with, with a, a human type scent or a scent that's not blocked, you'll never see a deer. I mean, they'll stay literally, if you probably can get an aerial view of it, they'll stay 100 yards away from you all the way around because they can smell that scent, right? So it's very important. All right, so hey, hope this video helped. Stay tuned for more tips to get you ready for your prep.